Ten-year-old Leo was exploring the dusty attic when a voice startled him. Goodness, it's Cobweb City up here, wouldn't you agree? Leo's jaw dropped. He blinked, sure he was dreaming. But there, perched on a dusty trunk, sat a sleek black cat with emerald eyes, staring at him with amusement. Did, link to dot did you just talk? Leo stammered. The cat chuckled, a dry, raspy sound. Indeed, young one, I'm midnight, and I possess the extraordinary gift of gab. Leo's initial fear melted into wonder. He'd never met a talking cat, let alone one as witty as this. He cautiously approached, offering a tentative hand. Midnight sniffed it, then nuzzled it with a purr. From that day on, Leo and Midnight were inseparable. Leo snuck Midnight treats, built her a cozy nest in his room, and most importantly, talked. They discussed everything under the sun, constellations glimpsed from his window, the injustices of bedtime, and Midnight's tales of life on the streets, filled with daring escapes and mischievous adventures. Leo learned Midnight was no ordinary cat. She had a sharp wit, a thirst for knowledge, and a surprising understanding of human emotions. He confided in her his fears of school bullies and his dreams of becoming an astronaut. Midnight, in turn, shared her wisdom, teaching him about courage, resilience, and the importance of seeing the world with open eyes. One day, while playing pirates in the backyard, Leo tripped and scraped his knee. Tears welled up, but before they could fall, a warm, furry paw touched his cheek. Chin up, little captain, Midnight purred. A true adventurer doesn't fear a few bumps and bruises. Leo smiled, his tears drying. Midnight's words, delivered with such confidence and affection, lifted his spirits. He realized his friend wasn't just a talking cat. She was his confidant, his cheerleader, his furry guardian angel. As Leo grew older, the secret of Midnight remained theirs. They continued their nightly chats, their bond deepening with each passing year. Leo confided his teenage heartbreaks, his college anxieties, and his first job jitters. Midnight, ever the wise guide, offered solace, advice, and a purring shoulder to cry on. One starlit night, as Leo stood on the cusp of adulthood, he looked at Midnight, her fur now dusted with silver. Thank you, he whispered, for everything. Midnight nudged his hand. It was our journey, little captain, she rasped, her voice fainter now. And remember, even when I'm gone, the stars will always guide you. The next morning, Leo found Midnight curled up in her nest, peaceful and still. Tears streamed down his face, but they were mixed with a smile, for he knew their friendship was woven into the fabric of his being, as eternal as the stars they gazed at together. Leo continued his journey, forever grateful for the talking cat who taught him the true meaning of friendship, courage, and the magic that unfolds when you open your heart to the extraordinary.